This is Dr. Kavanaugh of Associations of South Texas. I'm going to show you an IDOS TR implantation using the new ladder acronym. This is the insertion device. It's important to learn to keep the release button locked forward when starting the procedure. This is a schematic of the IDOS TR showing the anchor that will place it through the trabecular meshwork and anchor it in the scleral wall. This is a patient where the first two incisions have been made, the temporal clear cornea and the inferior paracentesis. The anterior chamber has been filled with Helon 5. We're now going to lock the IDOS TR release button forward so as to not prematurely release the IDOS implant. We're next going to use uh, the inserter to advance into the anterior chamber. We go through the clear cornea incision and aim for the trabecular meshwork. I've slowed this down to one quarter speed so we can navigate the steps of procedure first dimple the trabecular meshwork. You want to actually counterintuitively press very firmly into the TM, unlike other MIGS procedures, to anchor the IDOS TR into the scleral wall through the trabecular meshwork. At this point, you do not mind seeing stria on the cornea, unlike other MIGS procedures. Now it's time to embed the IDOS TR by relaxing release pressure on the inserter and slide the release button backwards. Once the IDOS TR is free and embedded in the sclera, you want to recheck by tapping to ensure stability. You tap on either side of the device with the inserter and you will see no movement of the device laterally. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Kavanaugh of Associates of South Texas. I hope this helps you if you're doing your first or flying solo for the first time on your IDOS procedures. Thank you.